To say the least, I'm obsessed with the way I look. It just runs my entire life. People tell me I'm beautiful, and I just don't believe them. When I look at people like J.Lo or Carrie Underwood, they are perfection. I don't like my nose, I don't like my lips, I don't like my smile. I do my foundation, I contour a little bit, I do my eyes, I do lipstick, lip liner, bronzer, blush, highlight, eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner. Cosmetics and skincare products have been around for such a long time. Throughout Asia, the desire to achieve white and lighter skin color is very much rooted from the practice of the ancient times. The skin lightening industry didn't slow down as they heard the cries of people wanting such a white skin. However, are we aware of other harmful ingredients such as parabens, sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS, hydroquinone, mercury and many others? Just in the year 2020 alone, 9 products have been notified and found to contain these harmful poisons. Yang pertama adalah kurang ilmu. Hmm? Kedua dia kurang sedar dia kalau dia, dia pakai benda tu bahaya dekat dia. Masih ada lagi tahun 2021 ni. Ah uh, and to do that also it is our um punya response tanggungjawab kita <coughs> untuk keep on making awareness how harmful bahan-bahan uh, tersebut macam apa yang saya buatlah dekat media sosial keep educating educating tu tak boleh berhenti kenapa mereka masih pakai let's say mercury lah dia orang tak tahu pun dalam tu dia mercury tapi sebab apa tahu terpengaruh dengan rakan sebaya orang sekeliling saya biasalah dia melalui kawan-kawan kita tengok kulit kawan cantik sikit kita tanya oh kau pakai produk apa cantiknya kulit hmm. ha, contoh macam yalah engkau gelap kan tiba-tiba uh, putih, flawless, siapa tak nak cantik uh, So, Betul. kita akan tanya lah Pada kawan kita, dia pakai produk apa uh, Contoh, dia cakap, oh aku Harga dia scan, scan, scan uh. So, lo pro local produk yang saya pernah pakai ni Saya tengok Barang yang terlarang dia tu Hydroquinone rasanya Stably <laughs> Sebab kita tengok kawan-kawan ramai pakai Oh, majority pakai uh, Majority pakai, lepas tu dia punya kesan tu Mendadak dia tu Cepat, ha. lepas tu tengok feedback pun orang cakap okey So kita pun nak try lah kan, siapa tak nak cantik betul Betul Dia punya glow tu um, nak cakap macam mana Orang tak tahu pun kalau kita guna glow ke produk Sebab tak pelik kawan-kawan, wow dia punya pipi tu merah hidung dia kan Gilet, flawless gila lah So, how harmful is mercury to an individual if it is continuously consumed? According to American Academy of Dermatology, as much as a skin lightener or brightener can help in the fading of dark spots, inevitably it comes with deadly health risk. If the product contains mercury, it could damage your inner organ, such as your kidneys. But the bad sides of mercury is after such a few months ataupun dia punya prolonged exposure to mercury after that dia akan dia tak boleh tak pakai benda tu dia macam kena pakai sebab kalau dia tak pakai dia jadi apa tiba-tiba dia akan nampak sikit dia as macam hitam lah sebab kenapa tahu mercury ni dah hakis all the uh, lapisan pelindung kulit and also all the melanin menebusi sel-sel kulit kita boleh masuk ke dalam darah Itu yang paling bahaya. Bila dia boleh menebusi sehingga ke dalam darah, dia boleh sampai ke buah pinggang dan memang kes yang banyak berlaku akibat daripada penggunaan bahan mercury memang akan merisikokan buah pinggang. With all this information, you can wisely figure out skincare product items to discover the ones appropriate for your particular skin type. Keep in mind, Information serve as a guideline only. Make sure to check with an expert or doctor regarding our skin condition.